and welcome back to my channel. I'm doing another paint with me in my sketchbook video today. I'm really trying not to be overly repetitive with these, but I've been really enjoying them and it's really satisfying to finish a painting in one sitting. So today I'm going to do something that is a little bit more detailed. I tend to do long distance landscapes, I guess is the way to put it, where there really isn't a lot of details and you can be kind of impressionist with it. I've been trying to focus more on working on details, especially with this gouache paint because it layers so well. You can actually see I did a little mushroom painting. I didn't film that because I was just trying to practice a little bit and I didn't really feel like filming. So I laid a base green for the background and I went in with the details of the dandelion first, adding the different strands where the seeds, I guess, have grown out and then died. Adding a little bit of light value in the center and the little umbrellas, I guess you could call them, of the plant. Now the picture I picked, some of the little strands were kind of dying off, so it added a nice different dimension of color, and I really wanted to convey that in the painting. So I added like probably three or four different shades of gray-brown. Now this part, I will say I wish that I had done the grass in advance. It was really hard to make it layered in a way where the grass looked like the background and not like it was directly in front of the dandelion. I think it came out okay, but I think going forward, background and then subject is the order to paint. I did go in with my fan brush a little bit to try and darken up the foreground a little bit and then I angled some of the grass strands in the background to look like they were coming from different sides. And then some lighter ones that were kind of peeking through the dandelion itself. Going in with a little bit more brighter color to add some detail as well as slightly darker to add some more value. with it. I definitely think that I need to do a little more practice on super detailed subjects, so stay tuned for that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Bye!